Hey everybody, what's up? It's uh, Lawrence. This is going to be one of the first videos on my new 2022 Subaru Outback uh, Wilderness Edition. Today we are going to be taking off the front bumper and installing some hella horns as well as swapping out the fog lights uh, and putting in diode dynamic SS3 fogs. So uh, first thing you'll notice over here is that I'm missing one of the bumper covers. That's because I have a tow hook plate mount that I just removed prior to starting this video. So basically there's a few things you need to know. Uh, first step you're going to have to do is remove the airbox uh, inlet here uh, so you can get to the stuff underneath here. And then uh, you will also need to remove these ones here, two, three, four, as well as these bolts here, because these bolt, uh, these bolt right onto the body. Second step is you're going to have to go in here and use something pointy to remove these three uh, clips. And then underneath, there is another clip right here and there's about seven or eight clips down at the bottom here that you also have to remove. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and we'll start taking the bumper off. All right. Now that you've removed uh, all the clips, there's a few things that you need to disconnect before you can pull the bumper off. One is going to be the camera here. Uh, one is going to be, and the other one, sorry, is going to be the fog lights. So this cable here is for the center camera. This you can just uh, pinch and pull out. Uh, you're going to have to undo this and remove that white clip right there. Uh, and once that's free, that whole cable will come out with the bumper. All right. So these are my hella horns. These are off of my orange uh, cross trek. I'm going to reuse them. Um, there is a bolt there that's kind of hard to see. But I'm going to see if these fit. Just a quick test here. Just to try it out. Just because if they don't fit, then I'm going to mount them just in the stock location. But if they do fit, and it doesn't interfere with that piece of cooling there. It does fit. So there you go. That's probably where I'm going to mount them. Alright, so here is the harness. Um, this is a relay that I'm going to have to find a place to bolt. I might just reuse this bolt down here. Or, if it's far enough enough, I might use this bolt here to hold the relay. These ends go into the horns. This end goes into the stock horn input. This end here, positive and negative to the battery. It's pretty simple. Alright. So, let's get to it. Alright, I just wanted to uh, go through with how I did everything here. Um, so the main harness connects to the back of the horns via a red and black cable. In my experience, it really doesn't matter which one goes where, the red and black, they're interchangeable. Um, I don't know how sound this is, but for my own sanity, the red and black on the left one matches the red and black on the right one. Um, like I said though, I'm not sure if it matters. Uh... Here is the relay. The relay is bolted to where the left horn originally was. Okay, or sorry, to my left, so the passenger side. Okay, uh, this is the stock uh, wiring that went to the left horn. And that is just zip tied all the way down uh, just to keep it out of the way. You notice I kind of like just bunched all the wires in the middle. Um, and that's because if you look at the grill, there is a black piece down the middle that kind of hides everything. 
the piece that goes to the battery I fed through. Um, you may want to take this panel off, but you can see it just goes through here. And uh, it's been zip tied to a few things, just keep it out of the way. And then to the negative and then one to the positive side of the battery. So really all you're making uh, is just a few connections, one to the stock horn. Uh, there's a red and black lead that lead to each of the horns. And then you have a lead that goes to the positive and negative of the battery. And that's basically it. Um, so the second horn, I kind of just taped up the end here with uh, electrical tape so that it just shields in and it's all zip tied up in there uh, just from the weather. But uh, with regards to how that's bolted, this mount is actually from Subi Mods. And uh, this bolt here was originally there. I did find an old bolt. You'll see there's a little rusty bolt back here. I use that as a spacer just because the horn here is actually uh, the back of the horn almost basically touches the, the chassis here. So it's not exactly hanging out. Um, so I use that as a spacer just so that I can tighten this bolt all the way onto something so I know it's snug. Uh, this is something I might need to change. One thing I did notice is when you honk the horn, since they're so loud, they vibrate. And since this is hitting the chassis here, um, it kind of reverberates through the whole car. Um, I didn't, I didn't think too much of it simply because, uh, luckily for me, I'm not using my horn like all the time, but it's something you may want to consider. You may want to just get a larger spacer or something for here, push the horns out a little bit more. You have a little bit of clearance, um, underneath here. If you see where my hand is, uh, you have some clearance here. So if you wanted to push this forward, you can, that's something I may do down the road. But that's it. That's um, how you install your Hellas. Uh, they're super loud and um, yeah, they sound a lot better than the stock horn. I'll tell you that. So I'm going to button everything back up and we're done.